Okay, so to manage multiple domains, multiple emails from different domains from within one Google Workspace account, here's what you have to do. So go to your admin.google.com, go down to domains overview, uh, you can click on manage domains, I'm assuming you will only have one at the moment, but you can add a domain. So in here you will enter the domain name, then add domain and start verification. So it will tell you right, it says that it's owned by SiteGround, tells you what to do. Uh, you can read the steps, but I can just show you as well. So I own it in SiteGround, so I'm going to go over to SiteGround, I go over to websites, I go and find my domain. And from within here, you go to your DNS editor, which this will be standard for any any domain. You go there to add DNS records. So you copy this, you leave that empty. And I'm going to go ahead and set it for five minutes right now, just so it propagates quickly. Hopefully you don't have annoying issues like that. Let me pause the video while but while this is going through. Okay, so it seems like let's see if it got added in here. Let's go to the text domains. I believe it is that one. Uh, let's see, Google Sites Verification, IFL, it is not that one, so, let's see, W8-U, let's start with that one, yeah, I don't think it got added so I'm gonna go ahead and add it again I'm gonna set this to five minutes copy that add it in there go ahead and create sometimes uh, they can be funky like this so you know if that happens to you as well just go ahead and reload the page now I'm gonna if you're not familiar how DNS records work, basically that time that you set there, um, it's about how much time it'll take for it to go live. TTL means time to live. That's a whole other tutorial and blog post, but I'm gonna pause the video while that propagates and then I will show you the next steps. All right, let's go ahead and check. So click on protect my domain gonna check this this will also take a little while uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video here as well okay so now you will see the domain in here you will see the button that says activate Gmail so to do that you would set up the MX record in there I'm not actually gonna add it because I'm not using Gmail for that domain but how you would add it is simply copy that. Go again to your domain registrar and go to the DNS records. Uh, so it seems like it has the automatic option in here. I'm just gonna click add my own and you would set it to priority one host record. So priority one and destination would be that and I would recommend just doing this even if it gives you the option to switch because as you can see if you switch it seems to give you a lot of different things and it doesn't even seem like it's the same one so I would just go ahead and add your own uh, if that is an option so you would go ahead and create and after you do that then you would actually uh, let me just do it so I can show you. 
so we ate and again this will take a few minutes so i'm gonna pause the video okay so let's go ahead and check so activate gmail Team flag doesn't see it added so let's go ahead and check it probably needs me to so it is right there but yeah it says it needs to delete these so I'm just gonna go ahead and save them just in case it's 10 20 30 so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those since I'm not really using them. It says again, we give it about five minutes for it to update. So I'm gonna, okay, so let's go ahead and check. So we try activation. checking and now it's set up gmail is activated so now you just go ahead and add a user in here and i believe even with this one if you've watched my other tutorial on how to add a free admin account i believe that it shouldn't automatically charge me for this because of that global option so i'm gonna go ahead and add new user and you have to wait a little bit for it to show up here but again if you go to your billing and you go to subscriptions it should still only say one because we had set the license settings to be off so it seems like you could have organizational units. That's going to be another tutorial. But if you go back to users, now you will see your user here. And I will link to the other tutorial on how to make this a super admin, if that's what you want to do. But now you can see that you're controlling email, uh, Gmail emails from different domains, all within one admin Google account.